Hi guys, welcome to Pajama Mama's Chick Kitchen. Um, me and Dante, we're at Floor and Decor, and we're gonna kind of check out their tiles and um, just a few things. Because he was here the other day and he really liked it and was impressed by it. So we just left Home Depot. Um, I grabbed some stuff to uh, paint the bed. Because you remember, this is gonna be the third video for um, us redoing the junk room. So here's my hubby right there. And um, we're gonna go in here, so I'll get, let you guys see what it looks like in here, okay? Okay, guys, we're walking in here. You guys see what it looks like? And it's pretty new. Uh, we're in Tacoma, Washington. This actually, back in the day, used to be a Mega Foods. I think that's what it was. I guess they got wood and stone and everything. So he said it was really nice. So I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like in here. So when you first walk in, they have carts. Actually, I don't think we're gonna get anything, so we're not gonna get a cart. We're just kinda gonna kinda like look around a little bit. Oh, they got vanities too. Hi, how are you? Oh, look at that one, that one's cute. Oh, okay guys, hold on. Yeah, look what we found, isn't it cute? It's like a floating vanity. This is uh, for Dante's bathroom. Then it, look at the uh, sink and the light. And I like how the little storage is on the side. Let me get up here so you guys can see. It has a big drawer. And it's usable space. Let me see what this is. Oh, that's cool. Look. So it has a little area right here for, um, you know, the pipes and stuff. But you can put your toiletries and stuff right there. And it's a good size uh, drawer. I was looking at the uh, the price. The price is, it was eleven thirty five. It's uh, like $900. He actually really liked that. And it's very masculine. I like it too. And I like the way up underneath right there, uh, you can clean real good. So, I, so you have to make sure it's into your studs. Let's see this other one over here. Oh, that's just the shower. Okay. I see something else we like, I will let you know. Look guys, they got a clearance section in, like in the corner of the store. And I'm gonna show you something. Dante vetoed it, but I wanna show you guys. Look at that. And these are all, are these tile? Yep, these are all tile. And that's $279 each, which is not bad. I had looked at this right here these little Mexican tiles because you mix them all up they'd be so pretty I'm gonna show you what somebody did right you're fine right here and I thought that would be pretty like up the wall but he did not like it so and the price is amazing the price on those are only 118 a piece so they're like a dollar off, dollar something off. And then I looked at these. I thought those were cute too. So we're gonna walk around some more because he wanted to show me some tile, some different tile. Okay, we have went through a lot of the tiles we've seen. Look at these different sinks. Look at that one. I'm kind of loving the shape of these sinks. And that, they don't even cost that much. That big one down there, I love that. That farmhouse, it is $3.99. And then this one is the one I like. It's $2.49 and $1.79. And then that one right there is $1.99. Let's see what they got over here. Oh, look at this one. That's $3.19 for that sink. I kind of like the square sinks. Look at the black one. That'll look good in my husband's bathroom. Uh, $3.19. And then they have like the glass bowls. I don't really like those because they go out of stuff like that goes out of style really quick. Let's see what they got. Yeah, all these glass bowls. They're really inexpensive. That clear one is $79. And that's only $99. This black one is $189. And that big farmhouse one is $349. But I love this black one for Dante's bathroom. It's only $129. And that one, that square one is $2. What is that, 229? Let's look over here. And here's some classic ones over here. Not bad. And look at that one, that one's only 89.99. So I really like, like these kind of sinks. 
let's see this store just goes on and on okay guys I think we might have found a winner for his shower look at that he loves it and I like it too because we were thinking if this right here and then just get some black penny towels for the for the floor and so those are they're $14.99 per piece let me see is it the same thing no that's a little different wait a minute Dante I don't see the black in that hold on you guys okay guys we were trying to find the one that has the blue with the uh like the different color black so all the ones we've seen are just blue but they have it in different colors they have that one and look at that one that one's like a gray with beige and then this one right here what i'm thinking they did they might have just added this all black one maybe just add it like some black within there but that's the one he likes so that with like a black floor okay guys we are over in flooring now my husband has fell in love with this floor it's kind of dark but i know it would look pretty with that blue tile look at that beautiful look they have one next to it that's pretty too also in this uh what is it called i don't even know what the color is called so i'm just going to take a picture of it we're going to try to see if we can find it in luxury vinyl but look at that Actually, let me take a picture of it and let me take a picture of the skew and everything too it's 229 per square foot where's the skew at oh there it is yeah he has absolutely fell in love with that i actually like both of those all right guys we are back in the car so that is our little adventure at floor and decor um i'm going to um, end well not really end the video uh probably the next clip you'll see me uh starting to get re ready for the bed to be painted okay so say bye hubby all right see you guys in a little bit Hey guys, I'm at the house and um, this is the bed we're going to put into the junk room that we're doing. And you remember I had went uh, to the store and got all the black paint? Well, originally when I bought this over a year ago or maybe more, I thought it was oak. Okay, because um, I'm outside. I had Dante kind of put it together because I didn't want to, because I was on spray paint. I went and got a whole bunch of spray paint at a uh, Home Depot and I was going to paint it black but then when, once I seen it and I started I got all the paint ready and everything and I bought some liquid sand I was going to try out but I think I'm going to leave it natural I'm just going to clean this up it's been in the garage this whole time and I ha it has some residue on it um like on the can you guys see on the the edges and stuff I think there were some stickers from the pe person I bought it for so I had to really uh, put the goo gone on it to get all that off and scrape it off and I did that but I look at this bed the, can you guys see I can barely see if you guys can see um turn it see yeah see over there on the edge they had a whole bunch of white residue and so I clinked that off and I have some TSP and a little bit of water a little, a little bit of dawn in there and I think I'm just going to clean it up because after looking at it again i kind of like this light wood because that room can you guys see me that room is really um small and i was going to paint it black it would be cool because some of the fixtures and stuff that i'm doing is got some black in it and i was going to tie it in but this to me will brighten it up so i keep changing my mind i keep buying stuff and that's what you do when you're doing a, like a renovation or a freshen up or whatever i'm doing <laughs> Uh, you change your mind. I change my mind a lot. My husband's like, okay, yeah, if you want to, we went and got all that paint. I said, I could take it back because I, I never opened it. So I'm going to clean this up really good. And it's, it's just kind of dusty. And I want to do that before I get it in the house. And it comes with the uh, back area too. Th these slats right here go on the back area. And that's going to be like the, and this is a huge, you guys see how big this bed is? This is a day bed. But it's not a twin size day bed, it's a, a full size day bed. So I'm we might take up that whole room. But we will see. And um, like I said, I bought it um on on um offer up. I think the lady was just trying to get rid of it. Because this this cost these little beds cost a lot. 
And my husband's like, well, we don't need it right now because we're not ready. I said, no, nope. when you find a deal, you got to get it. So that's what I did. So um, when you guys see me again, I will be putting it in the room, um, getting it all put together so I can start decorating the room. All right. See you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I am in the room and I just unrolled this uh, rug and I had forgot what it looked like. So that's the wall I'm going to put the bed on. I just put this carpet down just to kind of let it allocate to the room. So, and the bed is going to go right over there on that wall. So just got to, wanted to give you guys a little heads up how everything is looking. Because I had actually forgot what that rug looked like. It had been rolled up for two years. And you guys, just giving you kind of like a overview of the room. See, it's a small room, so. And I will be back later. Hey guys, so I, as, as the last clip you've seen me, I just put that rug in there. So I'm trying to get the ends uh, to kind of stick down. I got like uh, wood on the edges and stuff. Um, my, my one of my good friends said to it's something she says she puts on the end and you don't have to put that little um thing up underneath the uh you know the what's it called the rug keeper whatever that is and it keeps your rug down or whatever because I, I i said i had one i couldn't find it and um she said she just puts this, this little sticky stuff some kind of carpet and stuff and you put it on the edges and it keeps it down but it's it's doing pretty good um I'm running to uh, the storage unit downtown that we still have. I swear I want to get everything out of there. I got a lot of stuff out of there because I don't tired of paying. I've been paying that storage bill. It's ridiculous to have a house and a shed and a garage and still have a storage. That's how you know uh, we need to get rid of stuff. That's what Dante did. Um, you guys seen me outside earlier. Um, we, we got a lot of stuff out. Of the garage he took a lot of stuff to the dump i mean mostly my stuff you know how men do they take away all your stuff <laughs> and so it was even close i was like don't throw the clothes away we can donate the clothes and he didn't want to go through it. it was so much i was like just don't throw all that away because some people can use it you know and um, a couple things i snuck out of there because i was like he was throwing my steamer you know steamer for the floor he was throwing that away he's throwing my sweet they need the mops oh we got plenty of mops i was like so he's throwing out with then I had a steamer for the floor. I was like, that's a good steamer. I only use it like twice, you know, even though I've had it for a long time. And he goes, you don't even use it. it uh, like I have a regular steamer, but then I have a steamer for the floor, you know, because we have like laminate uh, floors and stuff. So, and we, well, you see we have wood too. So that's the, there's, that little steamer is good for that. So I did kind of save that. He told me this dirty. I said, you can, you can clean it off, Dante. Um, so anyway, I'm going to... Uh, downtown Tacoma to our storage uh, to get the artwork um, that I'm gonna put in that room so because I have some big paintings or, or big big pieces of art and it's one particular one you'll see it when, when I get there that I actually want to put so I can turn I don't have to go straight there's one piece of a lady it's a, it's a, it's a um, you'll see it it's, it's a lady with with all these little flowers in her head and it's huge it's, it's just a pretty little thing that I um, I used to have it in, in my restaurant and it's so cute I'm gonna put that on the wall because it's big because I don't want a whole bunch of pieces like I said that room is so small so I don't want a whole bunch of um, different pieces I got a couple pieces I'm gonna put in that will bring that light wood uh, in so I have a and, and, and it had some blue in it see I don't know about that no that'll be fine it had some blue in it because I originally remember I was going to leave that room blue and I didn't but it has blue in it and then it's got the wood around uh, the frame um, so I can put that in one area but over on the big wall I'm just going to put one big pretty painting and then put the bed and then whatever and let's see how that looks I might grab two of them just to see which one I want to use but I in my mind I want to use the one and I used to name all the uh pictures in my um because I had a bunch of black art and stuff and I had a whole bunch of pictures with different ladies or whatever so like one was uh what was it Akua I used to have a friend named Akua 
I don't know where she is now. She moved out of the state years ago. But anyway, I loved her name. Her name was Akua. And I named one of the paintings Akua. And then I had a Kenya. And I had, um, the one I'm going to get is Maria. And you guys will see when I, when I, when I get her. So I am maybe about five minutes away from downtown. And um, when I come back, I will be at the storage and bring you guys up so you guys can see uh, the few pictures I have to pick from. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm in my storage. Let me turn this around so you guys can see all this stuff I don't need. So there's just a lot of like big pots and stuff. And I got like 10 of those chairs. I got a whole bunch of restaurant chairs, probably about 20 or 30 of them. See, those are, that's one of the paintings. That's not the one I want. Okay, I gotta move some of this stuff. Hold on. Look, guys, look what I found. Look, I forgot about these pillows. That'll go good with the bed. Because remember that rug I just showed you guys? It was black and white. Look at that. These are all big. Look how big these pillows are. They're huge pillows. So I'm gonna go, and there's four. Let me see. Yep, there's four of them. There's two white, white and black, and two black and white. So I'm gonna grab those two. If I could ever get to this picture. Yeah, forgot that was in there. Okay, guys, here's another picture. That was the Mar that was the Maryland. I called her Maryland. And that would look good too. Let me see. In that room. But that isn't the one I came for. The one I came for is behind that one. Hold on. Okay, guys. This is Maria. This is the one I came for. Isn't that pretty? Like with all the uh, flowers in her head. But now in my dilemma, because that has so many pretty colors in it. Yeah, it has the, because I always like a pop of color since a lot of the stuff is muted with the gray walls and the, the tan and everything. So I always like a pop of color and that would be beautiful over the bed. But I think I want to save that for something else, but yeah, I think I might save that for the office. But that right here, this is perfect. It's a little subtle. The colors are kind of muted. Yep, this is the one. Okay. Then I have that one. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Oh, there's another one behind it. Let me see what's behind there. Can't even remember. Hold on, y'all. Oh, that's just the wedding dress one. Yeah. I like that. I remember I got that because it was a filler for something else, and then I ended up keeping it. So I think I got everything, and I found some rings for the tie back rings for the curtains. Yeah, we're gonna have to clean this out because we're just wasting money every month. It's ridiculous for all this stuff. I don't even need half of it. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I'm at the bank. I just left, I just got all the stuff for the, uh, the room. Um, that I showed you guys. And I think maybe my bank has closed down because I'm gonna let you guys see. This is my US bank and they have, I know they got uh, last year when all that, or the year four and all that stuff was going on with the pandemic and all that. People was busting out their windows and they had them boarded up and they finally got them fixed or whatever. So right over here, if you guys see over, the, can you guys see my finger? Over there and on that black part right there, that's usually the bank machine and it's covered up. And then there's iron on the door and it's not even five o'clock. So I wonder, yeah, what's going on? So yeah, I came to the bank <laughs> and huh, I didn't know it was going, I didn't know if it, if it was out of business or what. Okay, so I will come back to you guys in a little bit. I'm going to sign off right now because I just wanted to show you guys that. And um, when we start uh, putting that bed together, because I told Dante to put it in the room because I think the carpet has, yeah, let me turn it around, uh, laid there long enough. So um, he's putting it, um, he has to take it down. He only put it together for me to paint it like with a couple screws. He didn't put it like together for real, for real outside because we knew we had to take it together to get it down the hallway and all that. So when I get back, he said he would have it in the room they were going to put it together. So I'll bring you guys back up later. Bye. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like with the bed up. And this bed is a lot bigger than I anticipated. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my end tables in here. And then that's the uh, 
pitcher I went and got earlier to put on this wall. So the only thing I was thinking is, that's, that's the closet, is like maybe I could maybe put the TV stand kind of diagonal and I might, we'll see how it looks tomorrow because my husband has been back to the store about three times <laughs> trying to get this bed together, different screws and stuff and trying to figure it out because we don't have any directions. We were just kind of winging it. So I'm thinking I might have to put this on this wall and then at a diagonal, I don't know, because this is taken up. Let me get you by the door so you guys can see. This is taken up. Look at this, I'm at the door. Look, this is taken up this whole room almost, but we still have a couple feet we can push it back. But look, where am I gonna put the two end tables? Because look how much room is over here. Not much at all. Unless I put it all the way to the side and just put one. Then that means I only can use like one lamp. But you see the rug under here? So I'm gonna end this video. You know, I just kind of wanted you guys to see the bed once it's up, because so I still have to, everything's clean and everything. And I still gotta wait for the mattress to come in. So the next video, I hope to be showing you guys that and get some curtains I'm gonna put up here. So thanks for coming along. You guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please let me know because I'm trying to figure out how to make this tiny room work. All right. You guys have a great day. Bye.